Hello, everybody. Harry Doyle here, welcoming all you Wahoo maniacs to the year's first session of Tribe Talk. As you know, the Indians had a Cinderella season last year. Despite the fact that toxic owner Rachel Phelps wanted the team to lose so she could move it to Florida, the Indians won the American League East for the first time since divisional play began. Rachel's gone now, thank God, having sold the team to retired Indian third baseman Roger Dorn after a long, hard-fought series of negotiations. You might be willing to go as high as 100. 120. 120? You just started at 110. 130. Rachel, this isn't fair. 140. 130. 150. We'll take it. Oh, you're good, Dorn. Even with Dorn in the owner's box, the Indians are solid favorites to repeat in the East and go all the way to the World Series. And why not? Look at the lineup we have coming back. First of all, the Cuban crusher, the voodoo man with a bad attitude, Pedro Serrano. Even though his training methods were a little unusual, Pedro finished in the top five in homers, RBIs, slugging percentage, and total baldness. Also back is center fielder Willie Mays Hayes, who came out of nowhere to lead the league in great catches and stolen bases. We're told he starred in an action movie during the offseason where he not only did his own stunts, but even his own acting. And don't forget catcher and team leader Jake Taylor. Despite chronic knee problems, he had a fine season and beat out the bunt that drove in the run that won the division title. And finally, one of the brightest young stars in the game today, Rick Wild Thing Vaughn. Vaughn began the season in the uniform of the California Penal League and had some control problems early on. But with the help of a pair of black horn rims, he went on to set a major league record for strikeouts in one season by an ex-car thief. All in all, things couldn't be looking better for the tribe. What does your dunko stick out to? Guys! Guys! We signed Jack Parkman! What? Parkman? We signed Parkman! Oh, all right! right. Hey, you can add 42 homers to our lineup. At least, guys, this is the year we go all the way. All the way! 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 Listen, sounds like a Harley. It's gotta be him. False alarm. Appreciate you all coming out. Good to see you. Yeah, nice outfits. Haircuts are cute. Benny, I thought you were still in jail. I escaped. a boy. What do you say, big guy? See you in the show someday. Cute? Say it ain't so, Rick. Yeah! Jake, how you doing? Fine. Good to see you again, Lou. How's the leg? Good, good. Feel like a kid again, Skip. Good. There's a rookie in camp I'm gonna need your help with for a couple of weeks. Baker! Jake, this here is Rube Baker. I want you to help him with a little problem he has. Thank you. 
Mr. Taylor? Uh, I, I know you know from which you're speaking. I'm sure you're going to help me with my problem, which, uh, which I am bound to beat, because there ain't no odds against being yourself, no matter what the percentages are. Let me ask you something, uh, Rube. Oh, I bet you're wondering how I get the nickname Rube. No, I got a pretty good idea how that happened. What exactly is your problem? Well, uh... Hell, that's the biggest damn car I ever saw. center fielder. Oh. What's up? Hey, Willie. What's up? What's up, man? Hey, welcome back. Nice little duty. What, you running for office? No, I'm just trying to clean up my act. Hmm. Can't play the street punk when you're making seven figures, you know? Who's that? It's got to be Parkman, our new free agent. Nice jacket. Let's check it out. Say, uh, Parkman, I just wanted to say that even though we're competing for the same position, uh, I'm glad they signed you. You're a good ball player. Cut the crap, Taylor. I don't like you, you don't like me. I just hope you don't blame your bum knees when I take your job. You want me to beat him? I'll just beat him out for the job. Boyd's brain toward open flame. Contents under pressure. Shake can before use. Press. Press what? Jeez. I'm sorry, Mr. Serrano. I, uh, just. You are forgiven. I love you all. <laughs> Jake. Lou. My great and good friends. How you doing? You okay, Pedro? Okay. I free and clear. Did he say free and queer? Clear. Free of anger and hostility that runs Serrano's life. Meditation is key. Five months under Master Hawa Masasui. No more voodoo, just much peace and wideness of love. At one with all. Beautiful, man. Oh! Another jack job. Or... 370. Whoa, Hey, hey, what are you doing? Going deep. Buffed up this winter. You needed to, to wear all that jewelry. Just remember, you're our leadoff man. You're paid to get on base, not try to hit home runs. Keep the ball on the ground. <laughs> That's enough for the first day. After five pitchers? Hey, who's that last pitch you threw me? Called the Eliminator. It's a combination screwball and split finger. You name your pitches now? Sort of a marketing thing. You know, like Nolan Ryan's Express. I'm also working on a four-ball slider combination. Well, whatever happened to the boring old 96-mile-an-hour fastball? Terminator? Whatever. It'll be there when I need it. 
Jake, I don't want to become one of these one-year phenoms who burns himself out throwing nothing but gas. I gotta start thinking in terms of a career, not just a season. You worked with Rube on his little problem yet? Well, it looks pretty sharp to me. What exactly is his problem? Duke. Rube. What's going through your head just before you throw the ball back to the pitcher? Oh, I'm thinking, damn, I don't want to screw this up. What are you thinking when you throw a strike to nail a runner down at second base? Uh, I, I, I'm not thinking nothing. I, I just throw it. You see what I'm getting at? You want the pitcher to pitch from second base? Walk somebody. This guy's gonna turn it into an inside the park home run. Yeah. Whoa. What's this? Your first spring babe on? Ooh, her? Eh, no. There she is. Ooh wee. Suck it, dug it now. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hi, baby. Hey, Flan. How are you? Good to see you. You too. Good news. General Serial's people are interested in doing a campaign again. Money's going to his head. Yeah. Let's go take a ride in my limo. There it is, man. Watch this. Hey. Willie Mays Hayes is Black Hammer. <laughs> Jesse the Body Ventura is White Lightning. Together, they're taking on the mob. Mine fell the hardest. Mine of a dentist. <laughs> These guys play for keeps. Black Hammer, White Lightning, coming to a theater near you. That spot didn't show the real dramatic parts, like where they kill my boa constrictor and I vow revenge. Oh. Hey, you're limping. A little. What about you? Yeah, well, I'm a broken-down has-been catcher. You're our leadoff man. Spray my knee a little doing the stuff for the flip. Aww. Don't worry about it, though. I'm gonna be fine by opening day. Besides, I'm a power hitter now. What do you call that garbage? That's the Eliminator. The Eliminator. I got a new one I'll show you. You get a piece of it, I'll let you name it. Yeah, caught to masturbate. Excellent beach, man. Serrano pool. But ball and blue sky. Beautiful. Like lonely snowflake. Now just pretend the pitcher's the second baseman. Darn it the heck. Shoot! I couldn't hit sand if I fell off a camel. Cry, Manetli. They're gonna send me back to Omaha and I don't even live there. I'm gone. I'm buzzard bait. They're gonna cut me. I know they're gonna cut me. Cripes. Rube, you look at Playboy all the time, don't you? 
No, I, I don't just look at it. I, I read the articles. Yeah, sure you do. I, I do. I especially like where, where they tell you what the girls' interests are. You know, like Betsy loves surfing, gardening, and working on motorcycles. You memorize them? Yep, I guess I do. Bingo. Huh? Just do what I told you, okay? Could you throw that back to the pitcher, please? Thank you. Louise teaches aerobics and loves short shorts, unicorns, and reruns of Three's Company. Her favorite sports are air hockey, checkers, and calf roping. Wow, Willie's really got some power. Off a guy will be bagging groceries in a couple weeks. It must be tough to be old. Cool play, man. Huh? I love it. There's a red tag in there. That means I'm out of here, right? Uh-huh. There's always next year, and you're young. Yeah, what the hell? My mama always said it's better to eat shit than not eat it all. Well, look at it this way. In the minor leagues, you get to play every day, and think of all the valuable experience. I made the team. I made the team. We did it. Pedro, guess what, man? I'm on the rooster. This team has completely lost its focus. You think April is too early for a Roger Dorn night? Uh, uh, Lou? Oh, hi, Roger. I just want to say I think carrying three catchers is probably a good idea. Hold a second, Jake. Uh... Jake, you're a very valuable part of this organization. The way you helped that kid with his problem, that was, uh, that was impressive. Well, he's got some talent. I guess a little patience might even become a ball player. What Dorn's trying to say, Jake, is we're not carrying three catchers. We'd like you to stay on as a coach. We're gonna need you. You'll make a great coach, Jake. Screw you, Dorn. I'm not a coach. I'm a ball player. Why don't you just find some poor schmuck with his belly hanging over his belt and pastrami sticking out of his mouth? I'm done with baseball. Called everywhere. Nobody's looking for a 41-year-old catcher with bad knees. Well, it's not like you don't have other options. Alan Bellows wants you to join his brokerage firm. And Jack Persoff wants me to head up one of his Pepsi distributorships. And you'd be close to home. Yeah, and I'd make a hell of a lot more money than I would as a coach. So what if I never made it to a World Series? Well, I think it's pretty obvious what you ought to do. Thanks, kid. 
You mean a gang? No problem. I used to be in one. Actually, I was in four or five. No, darling. These are first-time offenders that try to keep out of gangs. All you have to do is pose as one of the juvenile hall kids and the education director. Do we really have to do this now? Are you kidding? It doesn't hurt to show you have a social conscience. But you're giving something back to the community. You'll be fine. Nikki, how are you? Fine. This is Frankie. He's one of my students. He won room inspection five days in a row to be in this picture. You can eat prime rib off my floor. Way to go, Frankie. Just a minute, Rick. He has a problem with his flesh. Is that your new girlfriend? Yeah. She's also my agent. Major baby. Does she like riding on your Harley? Is thing gonna happen or what? Ready to go. Don't tell me you sold the Harley. Winery has been great for me. I'm not the bum I used to be. I kind of like the bum you used to be. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot. Great. Take care, Frankie. So long, kids. Bye. Bye. See you later. Hey, Rick. I thought you might want this back. You left it in my apartment. I don't have much use for it now, but thanks. See you, Rick. So long, Nikki. All righty, folks, I'd have to say my next guest is about the closest thing baseball has to a rock star. Please welcome from the Cleveland Indians, Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn. <laughs> Now, let's get right to it here. This whole wild thing label that you've been saddled with, this has led a lot of people to believe that, like, you're borderline scary, like you're a psycho guy, but you, you seem like a pretty straight shooter, huh? Yeah. So where did this reputation come from? I mean, from what I've read about you, I guess, you, what, you had some mix-up as a kid with the cops, and is that something you want to you talk about? No. Sure. I saw this new Corvette, took it for a drive. Just kind of boys being boys kind of thing? Through four states. Four states? Oh, that, that's a lot. It ended in a high-speed chase. Headed up there around 140 or so. When I got out of the car, the cop had a real attitude. They were gonna throw the book at me, but my cousin dates a judge in Colorado. He's a transvestite. Oh. The judge or your cousin? The judge. Oh. Um, let's take a little break. More with uh, Rick right after this. It's cool, it's overcast, and it's foggy on opening day here in Cleveland. Hello again, everyone. I'm Harry Doyle, along with my good friend and partner, Monty, what's his name, giving a big wahoo welcome to all the Cleveland faithful. It's a brand new season and a new team spirit as novice owner Roger Dorn has made two very savvy front office moves, acquiring free agent slugger Jack Parkman and announcing his own retirement, eliminating a huge hole at third base. I don't know, you know, not a great spring, three and 24. Oh, so what? Uh, they had a bad spring. Uh, they did the same thing last year. The important thing is that Parkman and Hayes are killing the ball. Serrano, he's lying in the weeds. Wait, Bond, he's, he's off to a slow start. But look out! They're gonna erupt. They're they're gonna bust loose. Right. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna do it. They're they're gonna they're gonna bust loose. They're a powder keg juggernaut. Okay. Getting close now as the Indians begin their drive for a World Championship against the hated Chicago White Sox, who swept the Tribe right out of the playoffs last year. And listen to the roar of the crowd as the Indians take the field. that 
feeling you were just born for greatness. Rick Vaughn gets the starting call today. We're told he matured a lot over the winter. Apparently, he's bathing now. Congratulations, Rick. As you know, Monty, Vaughn's been working on a couple of new pitches, the Eliminator and the Humiliator, to complement his fastball, the Terminator. I heard that. Dynamite drop-in, Monty. That broadcast school has really paid off. We're ready for the opening pitch. Vaughn winds and fires. It's a strike, and we're underway. Right, great game. Good job. Great pitch, man. Great pitch. Do it again. Come on. Let's see it. Got it with two. Yeah. Vaughn winds for the 0-2 pitch. Called strike three. Called strike six. Called strike nine. Hitting over. Yeah! All right. Break out the champagne. It's in the bag. The fat lady has left the building. So Vaughn sets down the White Sox in the top of the first. Willie Mays Hayes steps in. Hayes had a great spring, adding the long ball to his speed. Willie swinging his shillelagh at the plate. And Hayes is calling his shot. He's pointing toward the left field bleachers. Oh, right, right, right here, Willie! What's he pointing at? Does he know someone up there? Hayes running at the plate. A line will into his wide up in the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive to left and deep. Way back, Belmonte racing toward the wall. This one has a chance. It's going, going, not quite gone. <laughs> that had to be the wind. It must have been the wind. <laughs> Top of the third now. Vaughn's been in trouble a couple of times, but has held the White Sox with his new assortment of breaking stuff. Humiliator line the left to base hit. Eliminator line to right, another base hit. There's some real pus line to center. Termini is coming around third. The throw is cut off. He'll score. And it's 1-0 White Sox. Uh, what? What? You're hammering this slow crap. Think your arm can stand the strain of throwing this guy a fastball? Look, I'll throw it. You just make sure you catch it. I will if it ever gets to me. God knows what Vaughn's going to throw next. He's running out of names. That'll bring up Hank Shaw, who led the Sox in home runs and RBIs last year. I don't know how this guy keeps his mind on baseball with all the paternity suits and all. I think those are parking tickets. <laughs> yeah. Vaughn has his sign and comes set. Checks the runner at second. Here's the pitch to Shaw. Swung on and belted to deep right field. Back goes Serrano. He'll need a rocket up his ass to catch this one. That baby is out of here. That looked like the Terminator, only slower. Maybe it was his out-of-stater, or it could have been the hibernator. That baby is definitely going away for the winter. Whatever for Vaughn, it might be see you later. He's probably going to become a spectator. Didn't have much on that one. 4 nothing, Chicago. Hayes at the plate, and he's calling it again. Oh, forget that crap. Put the ball on the ground. Oh, I'm looking in for the sign and goes into his windup. Here's a swing and a drive to deep left. It could go this time. Yes! Yes! Belmonte back to the wall again. Way back. Of course, he could be pointing at the left fielder. Now Bottom of the sixth, Jack Parkman stepping in with runners at the corners. Parkman with two hits already today. Martinez leads away from first, Warren from third. Parkman doing his little shimmy. It drives the women here in Cleveland crazy. Argus, the little left-hander, set at the belt. Here's the pitch. Parkman swings and drives with the deep left center. It looks like he got it all. It is goodbye, Mr. Rollins. And the Indians pulled it within one at four to three. Where you going, Jack? I bought him. Oh, New Jack City. Jackson, Jack 
You know, I used to hate Parkman when he was with the A's. It's amazing how a new uniform can change your attitude about a guy. He's still a dick. Last of the ninth, two outs and a tying run at first, and Pedro Serrano steps into the box. Serrano hitless today and pretty much all spring. Martinez takes his lead from first again. Here's the pitch. Serrano swings and it's a high fly ball to center field. And it hits a bird. The ball drops into right. The bird in the short center. Serrano rounds first and heads for center field. Serrano kill a living thing. Forget the damn bird. Run, run. He's alive. Martinez around third, heading for home, and so is the bird. Bye-bye, Birdie. Oh, sorry. But you're out, Mr. Gandhi. Too late! When does the score? Ball game's over! Well, the Indians drop a tough one, four to three, as Pedro Serrano doubles off a pigeon, and then is tagged out administering CPR before the tying run could score. It's a funny game, eh, Monty? Well, at least the bird survived. Who cares? It's a rat with wings. Two months. Two months? What do you mean, two months? You have enough money to run the team for two months. You paid too much for the franchise. There's another four months in the season. What am I supposed to do? Increase your profits any way you can. What the hell is this crap? <laughs> Well, fans, Roger Dorn has done a little redecorating around the ballpark. The outfield walls now look like the yellow pages. And any of you folks having trouble finding a good proctologist might want to come down here and check out the area around the 375-foot sign. As for the game, we got a real nail-biter here tonight. It's a lot closer than that 11-2 score. Mr. Vaughn, I thought you were starting tonight. I did. Oh, sorry. I didn't turn it on to the second inning. I can't believe you're so upset about what the valet said. I'm upset because Billy Ritter had a three-run homer off me. He was due. I mean, it's amazing. The man has been in the majors for seven years, and he's never hit a home run. Never? I thought you knew. Oh. Maybe you should throw fastballs more often until you're sure of your other pitches. I did that tonight. I threw Ritter an 87 mile an hour fastball and he crushed it. Last year I averaged 96. Now I reach back and it's just not there. I can't believe it. I've forgotten how to throw heat. Look, you'll make a few adjustments and in a week or two you'll be laughing about this. And don't worry about the endorsements. It's not your ERA they're going to be worried about. It's your image that's important. Wholesome. Clean cut. All American. When on the croquet lawn, one must be careful not to offend one's opponent with an onset of unwanted odor. Oh, bully. That's why I use Right Guard Sport Stick. Maximum protection against Odysseus, Adorphus Lee, or Flacty emanations. Let's, uh, cut. Let's just cut that. Um, it's Odysseus Lee, Odiferous, Olfactory emanations. Odoriferous, ophylactory, marinations. Odorferous, ophylactinal, nominations. Odoriferous, ophylactogil, emancipations.
doubles off the Zippo bail bond sign, oh. and that's another team record for Rick Vaughn. The fifth consecutive extra base hit in the inning. <laughs> and he's out by an eyelash at third. Serrano doing some interesting limbering up exercises in right. What a pansy. Here's a fly ball hit to right. Easy play for Serrano under it now and makes the catch. No, that ball is off his glove and out of here. Well, credit Serrano with an RBI, and that play could be a finalist in the Trojan End's Boner of the Week Award. Fake 87. And action. Right guard, sports stick. Anything less would be uncivilized. Upside down. Upside down. Thank you. Cut. Indians were mata hit takso ne. Um, to le takso yo. Hey, Rick, hey, Rick uh, is it true you're moving to the bullpen? Of course not. Where do you guys get this stuff? Hey, Wild Thing! Don't worry, you're still the best. You stunk at the beginning of last year, too. Thanks, Frankie. We don't believe what they say about you in the papers. You know, that you're a fluke and all that stuff. I bet you lost your fastball. That you got no heart. You guys want an autograph or something? Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, Nikki. You got something Vaughn can sign? Hi, Rick. Hi. Listen, I was real sorry to hear they took you out of the rotation. Ah, uh, it's only temporary. You're just in a slump. You'll bounce back. Yeah. Well, we better get back. Hey, Nikki. I'm sorry I didn't call you after last season. It's for the best. We've both moved on to better things. You seen anybody? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This'll crack you up. He's from Chicago. Big White Sox fan. Boy, does he hate you. Good luck, Rick. Thanks. What a great woman. Goddamn White Sox fan. That's such a nice personality. But he loves the idea of me sitting out here in the bullpen. Really sexy, too. I met the woman, Rube. I don't need a description, all right? White Sox fan. Women. You can't live without them and they can't be standing up. Well, fans, the Indians about to extend their winning streak to two. This is it. Vaughn's coming out of it. I, I know he's coming out of it. Just the motion of the bullpen has got to have been a wake up call. Ring, ring. Rise and shine, Ricky. This is the day we turn it around. Yes. Turn it around, Ricky. Turn it around. Turn it around. We're in the top of the ninth, leading 10-7. Bases loaded, two down, and Rick Vaughn has come on to try and nail it down against Felipe Aguilar, a dangerous right-handed batter. Here's the pitch. Oh, shit. Popped him up. All right. No, no, out of no, the no. If that's not Shaquille O'Neal and left, that baby's out of here. Oh, oh, no. Get out of here. You rotten bums. Oh, you overpaid winners. Wild thing, you make my butt sting. I detest you. You're all garbage. All of you. Back up the truck. Back it up. Jack, being new to the club, how do you feel about the way things have gone for the Indians so far? I'm the only winner on the team. The rest of them are losers, either by choice or by birth. Hey, Jack, yeah, I've right got right here. Wait a minute. You think you could help me with my fastball knife? We'll have to deal with some deeper issues first. I don't have any deeper issues. I like to keep things right on the surface. Well, sometimes there are little surprises. Tell me, Rick, what goes through your mind when you throw your fastball? 
I'm wondering if it's going to end up in the catcher's mitt or in some guy's den. Did you used to think this way? I didn't used to think at all. It takes a lot out of you, you know? Well, then, Rick, let's get down to it. The real problem here goes back to when you stole that car. You wanted to be caught, didn't you? Punished. Otherwise, you wouldn't have thrown the 0-2 fastball to Fields when everybody knows he'll chase the two-strike curveball in the dirt. I'd already thrown him two curveballs. The second one, he had 436 feet foul. Better than 520 feet fair. Parkman, I saw your little interview in this morning's paper. You're benched for two games. And if you ever rip any of your teammates Save like that again, breath, what do you say? You ought to listen to the radio more, Lou. Your biggest gun just got traded to Chicago. Matter of fact, your only gun. Au revoir. How could you sell my best player without asking me? I'm on my ass. You tapped out. I'm not going to be able to make next month's payroll. jeez. Oh, but I didn't sell Parkman outright. I got you an outfielder. He used to play with the Giants. Franklin? Not those Giants. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> And so Hiroshi Kamikaze Tanaka, recently of the Tokyo Giants, knocks himself cold for the second time this week. Maybe in Japan that's actually better than catching the ball. Personally, I think he's just trying to get out of the lineup. Surya. 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 Pedro Sorano, how do you do it? Who are you, master? My master. It's that great Hama Masasu. Ah, no pretensia ruka. Thank you. A ball player must be a warrior, not a bank. Ah. All right, you guys, let's listen up. We won a game yesterday. And if we win one today, that's two in a row. We win one tomorrow, that's called a winning streak. It has happened before. So let's see some hustle. Let's jack it up a little. I got a feeling things are about to turn around for us. Oh, my God. Hello, boys. You don't mind if I come in and visit with you for a moment, do you? This clubhouse is off limits to everyone but end in personnel. That does include the owner, doesn't it? What? I just bought the team back this morning at a substantial profit. I retained Roger here as the general manager. But the money really means little to me. I have more than enough. This is more personal. Last year, by some impossible fluke, you ruined a beautiful dream. Now, you're going down in flames, and I want to be there when you go splat. Keep up the good work, gents. Miss Farbus. Inui de mo yarare chimai na kono yarima onna. Come on, you're not gonna let her get you down, are you? You guys won last year just to spite her. Maybe she's just what we need. Ah, oh, Skip, they were a different team last year. Taylor, it's not your job to make excuses. That's all you guys do good. 
It's either a leg thing, or a spiritual thing, or a psychological thing, or a heart attack. Who used heart attack? Me. Doctors say I gotta take some time off, so I want you to manage the team for the rest of the year. You gotta be kidding, Lou. I don't have any experience managing. Ah, uh, you're one of the smartest players I ever coached. Guys all look up to you. Tell Dorn you'll take the job. Look on the bright side. Things couldn't get any worse. Hey, guys. I got some good news for you. This morning at 9, 10 a.m., I activated myself. How'd you do it? Shoot. What is this? What is this? Buddha, Samurai, Oki. Peaceful inside. Outside, warrior. Buddha, the one who can't miss the mirror. I love you, Max. I love you too much. You know, you have no. You have no. Marvelous. Marvelous? Marvelous. You have no marvelous. Hey, relax. Marvelous? Huevos? <sighs> Hello, Tribe fans. Welcome back to Major League Baseball. Sort of. Paid attendance today is 1,412. Some of them were driven away by a little 10-run first thing the Red Sox put up. Take over, Monty. I'm in the bag. Me? Fly ball. I can't believe you got to play a doubleheader. All right, let's get going. Come on, let's get something started. It's okay, Pedro. The guy made a great play, huh? Best luck, man. Come on, look alive, look alive. Uh, 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 Vaughn, don't you think you better get out to the bullpen? Right now? Yeah. There's still somebody left in the bleachers. Who cares? Go on, get out there. I tell you to go to the bullpen? We're down by 10 runs. Jake. Well, you can still get some work in. I've had enough of that maniac out there. Ow! Oh, hit him! Oh, First base! Hayes, go run for Rube. My legs hurt. I'll run. Rube's hurting worse than you. Now get in there. With the gutless wonder doesn't have to pitch, why should I have to run? What are you calling a gutless wonder, Tin Man? Tin Man? I got a genuine leg injury here, pal. Yeah, that limp is the best acting you've done all year. But at least I don't have some cover girl dragging me around by my Johnson. What are you guys doing? This isn't nice. Stay away from me. Don't touch me. Come on. Help! I'll show you a fight. Come on. I'll take on the whole team. Come on, you don't know how to fight. 
Get the chair. Get Weston. Harry, wake up, Harry. Huh? Look. Huh? Huh? My God. Good news, fans. The Indians are showing signs of life for the first time in weeks. As a matter of fact, they appear to be beating the crap out of each other. It looks like Willie Hayes is trying to hit Rick Vaughn. And why not? Everybody else in the league does. Hey, he swings and misses. I don't know, Monty. It looks like Vaughn's carrying his left a little low. This could hurt him in the later rounds. So what are we going to do? Toss him, I guess. The whole team? Yeah. All right, you're out of here! Oh, yeah! Well, it's not broken, but you're going to have to stay off it for a couple of days. Lucky son of a gun. At least you ain't got to hang around and play the second game, right? <laughs> hey, Willie! Willie! I can't believe you said that. Shit! I talked to a boy in the bleachers the other day who hails from downtown. He told me the most grass he's ever seen in his whole life is a patch we get to play on every day. Now, we're in a gold darn major leagues, boys. I don't know about any of you, but I've been waiting my whole life to get here. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna act like my best pig died just because we ain't doing so good. And I love to play baseball, and I'll bet somewhere along the line you all did too. I'm ready to play ball if you need me. My dad figured I wouldn't amount to much except, well, I never came up with anything, but I know I can play ball a little, and a day of playing ball is better than whatever most people have to do for a living. So just put me in some place. Samina! Get in the Bottom of the ninth, Cleveland down one to nothing. Now batting, number 11, Rube Baker. Baker at the plate, he's 0 for, I don't know, who cares? The pitch, Baker swings and sends a real screener towards short. Yeah, wrap up with it, fires to first, and Baker beats it with a head first slide. So the Indians have a runner. I think I'll wet my pants. Let me run for him. You sure? Yeah. And Taylor is going to send in Hayes to run. Thanks, thanks, Jim. Went to see his movie, but it was only out for two and a half hours. I was told, however, that it was in focus. Hayes getting his lead. Anatella checks him. And Hayes is going. Here's the throw. He slides. He's safe. Yes. So Hayes steals second. Glad to see he remembered where it was. Hayes out to a good lead at second. Anatella comes set. Pickoff play. Hayes takes off. He's going for third. He's in there. Hayes is beginning to look like the player of old, and the Indians have something going here. Canatella up on the rubber again as Hayes gets a walking lead. Canatella winds. Hayes is going to steal home. He's safe. So Hayes has stolen three in a row to tie the game. Mr. Larceny is back. Serrano went to bat. Okay, get in there.
Serrano. Serrano. Serrano is going to pinch hit here, and he's not taking any practice swings. He's either ready to hit, or he's afraid he might kill some gnats. Hey, Pedro, how you doing? Shut up. Canatella delivers. Serrano swings, and it's a long drive to deep left field. Way back. Packer to the wall. This ball is gone. And the Indians finally win one. Well, it's only one win. Even they can't lose them all. Listen, Meg, I'm thinking of coming to L.A. I don't know if Rick and I are good for each other right now. I mean, the team is showing signs of life, but his ERA is over six, and he hasn't got a clue on how to get it back on track. It's depressing. I'm serious with Vaughn. He's a lot of fun, but I need someone with a little more class. Shrink was sick. Meg, I'll call you back. Hey. You know, Ricky, breaking up with a girlfriend can be a, a very painful thing. But it don't have to keep you down for long. I mean, let me tell you something from my own personal experience. I, and I never had a, a regular girlfriend like you, but I did get kicked in the balls once by a mule. Now, I, I thought I would be hurting for the rest of my life. But you know what happened the very next week? What? My mama died. <laughs> Hell, after that, I didn't care no more about my balls hurting. You see what I'm getting at? All right, who led the Confederate forces in the Battle of Gettysburg. Ooh, me. Wild thing! Can I talk to you for a second? Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was wondering if you wanted to go out and get a pizza or something. I don't know. Um, this is my last class, but... Now? I don't know, Nikki. Nothing I try seems to work anymore. Maybe you're working too hard on yourself. You used to go out there and just let it rip. Here, try and hit this. You never used to worry about your arm or your career. God, it, you didn't even know what a career was. Now you're pitching like it's a job. Yeah, I'm not sure I can get back to that. It seems like it was so long ago. The worst time was when he brought the kids out and Aguilar lit me up like a Christmas tree. Don't worry about that. That ball wouldn't have been out of a lot of parks. Name one. Yellowstone?
Buddha, Jobu. Jobu, Buddha. Now, I don't want no trouble out of you two. Oh, shit. Jesus! As general manager of this team, I demand to know when I'm getting a start. There's an old-timers game coming up soon. Happening, not again. you do forgive me. What dare is being ready silly and trying to get a laugh out of one of my friends. I understand why you reacted the way you did. I hope you don't think this is about trying to get you back. Then what is this about? General Serials is throwing a big party tonight over at the Marriott Society Center and they want you to come. Really? Mm -hmm. So? Can you make it? Probably not. I didn't think so. After what I did to you that day. I messed up a great thing. Tribe fans, we're one out away from our second consecutive divisional title. Rick Vaughn has gone three and two to Mal Koski. Here's the pitch. Ball four, and he walked him. Ah. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate for the Toronto Blue Jays. A little excitement here at the end. I know I wouldn't have it any other way, and I'm sure you folks feel the same. <laughs> oh, yes. Time for the old tribe to come unglued. Vile thing! Mr. Choke thing! You make everything embarrassing! Rick, you want to finish this or should I bring in Dalton? Hey, Mile thing! You were lucky last time, Serrano saved your sorry ass! No. My arm's tired. So Vaughn leaves and Tanner will go to the bullpen. I knew you'd wimp out, mild thing. You got no heart. And forget genitalia. You're a gilding, Vaughn. They had you fixed. Dalton is done with his warm-up pitches, and Pierce steps in. 
Here's Dalton's first offering. And Pierce hits it a ton. Oh, no! Indians win the division. <laughs> so what? They'll blow it in the playoffs. They will. They will. They'll blow it in the playoffs. Hey, man, what's wrong with you? I put in a lot of time on this stuff. Hey, stop. Hey, what's up? All right. Good to see everybody. How are you? Whoa, easy on the fives. Kind of protect the old pitching hand. <laughs> well, it looks like we're back in the playoffs. Yeah! And I know what loyal fans you are, so I brought you a box of balls. And I've signed each one, but if you give your ball to Nick, I'll make sure the whole team signs it. Well, I gotta run. Um, Nicky and I have a little function at the Marriott. I guess I'll see you at the ballpark. Enjoy those. What a puke it. He didn't even have no cake. Hey, Rick. Why don't you go without me? What are you talking about? Come on. These kids look up to you because they're where you used to be. You're a hero to them. It'd be the biggest thing in their year if you just hung out with them for a while. Unfortunately, you think some party's more important. Well, I, I guess I can go back in for a couple of minutes. Don't insult their intelligence. They don't want to hang out with some jerk that I had to drag back in there. Just leave. Nikki. Go. Okay. Fine. Hey, Rick. This party. Did she invite you? Yeah. It's just a business thing. Bye, Rick. Well, it's a shame you have to go back in now. That's a routine bypass. I put it off as long as I could. At least you can watch the games on the two. Wrong. Doctor told me he was going to put the TV on public broadcasting and lose a channel changer. He thinks baseball's bad for my health. But I came up with plan B. Got me a little transistor radio with an earplug. <laughs> Bottom of the ninth, game one, American League Championship Series. Hayes leads away from third. Music with a sign, and now into the lineup. Hayes is coming. Baker with a suicide squeeze. Busick up with the ball. Hayes doesn't touch the plate. And Hayes finally scores. Relax right where they should be. Hello, team. I know you all hate me. Uh -huh. And given what's happened in the past, I can't say I blame you. But I wanted to say one thing to you before you take the field tonight. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm proud of every one of you. Willie, the all-out effort you've given recently has been an inspiration to us all and proves that you've put that one-for-18 performance in last year's ALCS 
far behind you. And Pedro, <laughs> bashing the bar like this Serrano of old. No way you won't improve on the 138 you're hitting against Chicago with runners in scoring position. <laughs> and Vaughn. Oh, you've had a really tough year. And even though your fastball isn't what it used to be, there's no one the fans in Cleveland would rather have pitching the most important game in Indians history than you. The champagne is ready. It's all in your hands. Win tonight and the loser label is gone forever. Go out there and win it for Cleveland. Win it for yourselves. And win it for me. That ought to shrink the little sphincters. Bottom of the ninth here in the Windy City. The Tribe clinging to a 6-4 to four lead. One out away from winning the American League Championship Series for the first time in club history. Vaughn trying to close it out has taken Jack Parkman to a full count with two men on. Baker with a sign. Vaughn shanks him off. He's afraid of his fastball. He's screwed. You're screwed, Vaughn. Conjo Neroda. Vaughn's got the one he wants now. And here's the pitch. Parkman swings and pulverizes one to deep center field. This ball has bye-bye written all over it, and the White Sox win 7-6. Playboy's not working anymore. Don't worry, Rube. We'll come up with something. Now, why don't you grab yourself a shower, okay? Staff's pretty overworked. Yeah, so? I'll be ready. Ready, yeah. Ready to what? Run and hide if the game's on the line? I don't get it, Jake. What's your problem? You're the problem. You used to be the toughest guy on this team. Now you're trying to prop yourself up with the right woman or the right shrink or God knows what else. You want to be a major league pitcher? You have to find something in yourself that's yours and nobody else's. You had that once, Rick. And if I were you, I'd spend the rest of the night trying to find it again. Without it, you're no good to me or the team. What an asshole. What an amazing asshole. my friend. Why is everybody so threatened by me improving myself? <sighs> what an asshole. Hey, you're looking good, Lou. Well, forget about me. I'm fine. You gotta talk to the team, Jake. Give him a hell. 
Let them know they're too damn good to roll over and play dead. Yeah, we'll do, Skip, and, uh, hey, we'll win this one for you. Hey, hey, Taylor. Mm. Promise me one thing. Sure, what? When you talk to the team, don't give them one of them corny let's win one for loose speeches. I couldn't stand that. <laughs> yeah, promise. Come hell tonight, Shuby. Look alive there, Pedro. Rube. I want you to give this catalog a try. I think you like the writing. Thanks. Fredericks of Hollywood? All right, everybody listen up. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Lou's going under the knife tomorrow. Yeah. He's not doing so good. Doctor told me he might not make it at all. As a matter of fact, there's a good chance that this game tonight might be his last experience on this earth. He had a hard time talking, but he did say this. Win this one for me. I might as well have a little taste of heaven now, just in case I'm not headed there. Hell, when a man's lights are about to go out, the family he can't see if it's not over! You okay, Pedro? That was beautiful, man. He made me realize that there are more important things in life than baseball. I love you, man. Oh, no. Good everybody. Harry Doyle here welcoming all you fanatic featherheads to the American League Championship Series, where tonight the comeback kids of the Cuyahoga will begin their quest to earn a World Series berth for the first time since 1954. Out to spoil the fun are those pale hosers from the Windy City who squeaked by the tribe a year ago in the playoffs and lucked out again in the World Series. What else can you say about these White Sox except at least... They're not from Canada. Uh, guys, just think, after tonight, we'll be going to the World Series. Yes, yeah, in Chicago. Shoop ready for the opening pitch now. Wines and fires determined. He swung out and missed, and we're underway. No. Baker threw the ball down to third. I guess he felt Wilcox didn't get enough infield practice. Anyway, Shoop ready again. Winds and comes to Termini. High, oh. and the count is even at one and one. Son, if you throw that ball down there again with nobody on, you're going to make me very unhappy. The tulip lace bra has ruffled underwired cups. Creating a curvier you for evening's bare neck lines. Woo! Yeah! Woo! So Baker finally gets one back to the pitcher. Nancy Crotzler's panties are also available. Bottom of the first, two down, Dowling in scoring position at second. Busick comes set, fires the Serrano, swung on and popped up. And that'll do it. Bottom of the third, still nothing, nothing. Tanaka at the plate as Baker leads away from second. Busick into the stretch, delivers. Tanaka swings and lines a base hit to left field. Baker around third, they're waving him home. Belmonte up, get out, get out. Baker dives. Oh, shoot. 
He scores! And the Indians lead one to nothing. Oh, shut up. It's only one run. Top of the fourth as Parkman leads away from first, back from second. Shoup comes to the stretch. Delivers to Shaw. There's a swing and a drive to deep right field. It's off the fence. Serrano up with it. Beck's going to score. Here comes Parkman around third. The relay from Miller. They've got Parkman nailed. <laughs> The ball comes loose. And the White Sox take the lead two to one. Welcome to Big Leagues, Hayseed. Next time, don't stand on the tracks and the train's coming through. Bottom of the fourth, Serrano swings and misses and strikes out again. It's a good pitch. Top of the fifth. Sox threatening again here. Bases loaded, two outs. Three and two on Dawson. Shoe pass to throw a strike. The runners will be moving on the pitch. Here it is, and Dawson drives one to deep center. This is trouble way back toward the wall. Hayes racing, still going at the track. He's got it! Not this time. And the Indians dodge a three-run bullet. What a catch by Hayes. Two down, bottom of the fifth. Two and one on Hayes, trying to pick up Miller from third. A black hammer. Read some of your reviews, man. One guy said, Willie Mays Hayes couldn't play dead. <laughs> Music, the big Chicago left-hander, winds, fires, high oh. ball free to Hayes. He also said the stunts were a joke. You do your own stunts, or were you afraid of getting hurt? If I get the chance to score, We'll see who's afraid. I don't intend to slide. You don't? Well, you better, little man. Just because you're movie bomb doesn't mean you have to commit suicide. Hayes waits for the 3-0 delivery. Low ball four. I'll be home soon, honey. I'll be waiting, sweetheart. So Busick walks Hayes, putting runners at the corners as Baker comes to the plate with the Indians still trailing 2-1. to one. A little sheep back home probably misses you, huh, Rube? The runners take their leads. Busick checks. Comes to the plate. Baker swings and lines a drive to the left field corner. It's off the wall. Bell mommy up with it. Miller scores. Hayes flying around third. Here comes the throw. Come on. I wasn't going to slide. What a long way to go, Peckerhead. That's Mr. Peckerhead to you, pal. Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> now we're starting to roll, boys. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. I love this British stuff. General Spencer Ewell was a patient of your Uncle Richard's. Arthur and I dined. Top of the seven, three, two Indians, but the White Sox have runners at the corners. Shoup is two and one to Parkman. Parkman doing his little shimmy. It makes the women here in Cleveland puke. Shoup delivers. Parkman swings and hammers a long drive to deep left center field. Back goes Hayes. Way back. It's gone. Damn. Yes, yes, Parkman, you stud! And Parkman puts the Sox back on top, five to three. Let's go back, Bob! Sit down! Hey, I told ya. <laughs> Bring out the tarp, cover the field. I can't watch this anymore, it's over. Turn the lights on. Let's get the bulldozers in here and turn this place into a parking lot. That his elderly mother. This is tragic stuff. Bottom of the eighth, two down. Campbell at first. The Indians trailing by two. 
down to their last four outs. Taylor's got to get something done here or he'll have the bottom of the order in the ninth. Dorn. Yeah. This guy, he used to pitch you inside, didn't he? Yeah. Get a bat and step into one. What? Let him hit you with the ball. I need another runner out there. Are you crazy? It's the only way you're going to get in the game. Come on, Roger. Take one for the team. Oh. It's not my bat. Go on, get in there. And Taylor is sending up Roger Dorn? Dorn is 0 for the century against this guy, but has several foul tips. So Dorn inches in and gets ready to face Busick. Here's the pitch. Oh, and Dorn is hit right in the back. And the Indians catch a break. They'll have runners at first and second with Dorn representing the tying run. Pinchwater. No! Oh. God, that hurts. Oh. Markley, get in there and run for Dorn. <sighs> Dorn! So Dorn gets his first hit of the season, although it doesn't look like he's ready to leave you. <sighs> Dorn! Tanner may have to call the cops out here. Dorn! Nice game. Well, Dorn finally leaves after putting on a very impressive <laughs> exhibition of stretching. And that brings up the potential go-ahead run in the person of Pedro Serrano. Pedro's left a small village on the base pass tonight. Back me, my good friend. How you doing? Look at the scoreboard, Buddha. I'm doing fine. Busick set at the bell. Delivers, swung on and missed. Ooh. And Serrano is down a strike. This guy is not messing around. He's going right after Pedro. From the stretch, he's ready. Fires. Whoa, that's some quickness. So two straight heaters, and Serrano is down to his last strike. you guys. <laughs> Serrano back in the box. The last pitch, man. That was beautiful. Busick has his sign and comes set. Here's the pitch to Serrano. He swings and drives from the deep left center. Way back. Going. Going. Go! Not as beautiful as that, though. <laughs> Real Pedro Big Knock, baby, Big Knock. And the Indians lead six to five. Look at that score for now. Grasshopper. Yeah. God. What a shot! Three more outs, we go to the series. So what? They'll blow in the ninth. Hey! Sick of you. What are hey! You hey! hey. Jerk-offs! We're in the ninth. Two down, two and one to Germany. Once again, the Indians one out away from the American League Championship. Here's the pitch. Ball three. And Shoup is now only one pitch away from putting the go-ahead run on. You got all of this kind of excitement, don't you, Monty? You took the words right out of my mouth. Here's the pitch. Ball four, and the Sox have two aboard with Beck coming up, who already has a two-run double tonight. Come on. Time. Ah! 
You ain't got nobody left, Taylor. Your old mother Hubbard, and only Vaughn's in the cupboard. Good job. Thanks. Outstanding game, Shoopy. You fought him all the way. I can't believe I walked that punch and Judy hit her. We'll get him for you. Give me Vaughn! Give me Rick Vaughn? Yeah. He's pitching to Beck, not Parkman. He wants the righty! The vile thing! The grab your throat and choke thing! Blow it out your ass, lard mouth. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's him. Crank it, Jerry! Oh no! Not that goddamn song again! Nice look. Welcome back, Vaughn. Good to be back. Okay, now, Beck likes him on the outer half, so jam him. I want Parkman. Well, Parkman's out up. Beck's the hitter. I'll walk him. And load the bases for Parkman? What are you, nuts? I want Parkman. All right. Go get him, Rick. Hey, when the tough get going, go and get tough. Surprise move, Vaughn is on the pitch here. Ball one. And they're going to walk back to get to Parkman. Obviously, Taylor's thinking, I don't know what the hell he's thinking. New haircut, same dead arm. And there's ball four, and back trots to first. So they're loaded for Jack Parkman, who's hitting just over 900 against Vaughn. Parkman homered the last time he faced him. Now that is number 15, Jack Parkman. Him, but you got him, man. Let's show him. Okay, Rick, let's get nasty. Vaughn looking for the sign. And he's got it. He on and missed. Strike one. And he had something on that baby. Ooh. Boy's pumped up. Looks like I'm gonna have to get serious. Vaughn back on the slab. Baker gives him the sign. Vaughn ready, and here it comes. <clears throat> Swung on and fouled to the screen. And Parkman wasn't fooled on that one. Oh, he just missed it. I got your timing now. But I'll bet you don't have enough hair on your ass to throw me another one. Well, here it comes, Parkman. Hole number one, the Terminator. You get a piece of it, you can rename it. 
Blow this chump away. Stay with the smoke, Rick. Just go after him. Mr. Parkman, you're a great ball player, and I'd just like to say, you're standing on the tracks and the train's coming through, butthead. The hell with the signals. Bring it here, Ricky! So Vaughn is nothing in tune apartment. Great game, Rick. We'd like to offer you a three-year... I'm sorry, fellas, but you got the wrong guy. I'm sure you make a great cereal, but I like my hair the way it is. I don't get up in time to eat breakfast anyway. Rick, what are you saying? You're a great gal, Flannery. Much too good for me. Take a hike. Nikki, hold it. Nikki, look, I know I was a jerk the other night, but I want to make it up to you. Don't let him sweet talk you, Miss R. I got World Series tickets for the kids. I got boxes. Take him back. I mean, I'd forgive him. Thank you. I'm sure these guys will really be happy with the tickets. Congratulations. Wait, Nikki, I want you to come out with me and celebrate for an hour. A year. Whatever. Just come out with me. All right. What do you say we start with an hour? <laughs> 